the most difficult or the most dangerous psychological state is to be hopeless. That's the most dangerous psychological state. You know, non-Muslims even, when they completely lose hope, they do things like overdose on drugs, commit suicide, commit all kinds of crime, when they're hopeless, when there's no hope for them. They, they're willing to do all kinds of things. When they reach that absolute bottom in the soul of a human being, that is when a human being has no hope whatsoever. But Allah Azza wa Jalla doesn't leave us hopeless. The Messenger of Allah told us وسلم, from the very beginning, كُلُّ بَنِي آدَمْ خَطَّاؤُونَ All children of Adam make mistakes. Well, at least now we know that that's something even the Messenger acknowledged. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But he added, وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ The best of those who make mistakes are people who come back to Allah. They turn back and repent to Allah. In other words, Allah has left that door open for us. No matter how many mistakes we make, Allah is willing to wipe the slate clean. No record. You know, in any society, once you commit a crime, it goes on your permanent record. It can't be expunged. It can't be removed. It's there. It's sitting there. It's like this dark cloud over you. You know? People that, for example, have been inside the system for whatever reason, when they come out, they have a very hard time finding work. People do a background check, they can't get a job. Because there's something on their record. Allah Azza wa Jal completely wipes out your record. If you and I are sincerely ready to turn back to Him, if we really mean it, if we really, really mean it, it's not words that Allah is looking for subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's looking for a sincere heart that turns back to Him. A heart that truly feels sorry for what He has done, or what she has done. When we can do that, Allah offers us a fresh start. An absolutely fresh start. These are the words of hope that Allah Azza wa Jal gives us in Surah Al-Furqan. He goes a really extreme step. He doesn't just say that He'll forgive our sins. He says, فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتِ Those people that truly repent back to Allah, I will take all of their mountains of evil deeds and convert them to good. In other words, just for you sincerely turning back to Allah, now it's not just that you have to answer Allah for a million evil deeds, he converted those million evil deeds into a million good deeds you haven't even done. Just because you made tawbah. Just because of that. Just because of that one thing he's asking from us. How much more easier can Allah Azza wa make our life?